Okay, here I have two transfer cases or angle gears out of a Volvo XC90. Um, there's two different styles, as you can see by the cases. Um, it looks like the fitment will be the same. Um, the problem with this old one, which is you know super dirty and looks like it's been worn out, it has a uh, has worn down shaft splines so that my transfer case collar uh, you know slips on it um, so what I'm doing here is I'm replacing all the seals in the good one so I've already replaced the seal on the end of the shaft um, both ends there's a seal there, a seal there as you can see I got a seal kit and I put new o-ring on the cover this is a new, um, uh, a new piece from Volvo. There's my, my box. I had to put a seal in it also. It doesn't come with a seal. Uh, so next, we'll be working on replacing the seal right here. And I'll have to take this nut off. Uh, there's also a seal in here which I've already replaced uh, was this this guy so cleaned it up a bit this one's a lot cleaner I inspected the gears the gears look good the bearings look good they're nice and clean and uh, you know have our smooth acting whereas compared to these they're a little worn out this is the, the other style. So it's important to replace the seals, I think, so we don't get any leaks as this transfer case in a V8 XC90 is pretty hard to get to. Got to tear apart quite a bit of the car. I have the, uh, the lower um, cradle off the car. I did replace the control arm bushings, control arms. Um, the radiator had to come out. Okay, I was able to take this nut off with a uh, 30 millimeter socket and an impact. Um, it wasn't that bad, just hold the, the uh, piece right here. And we'll see how easy it is to remove. You just pull that out. And now you can access the seal, reinstall it. Um, I assume the shaft will fall off if I, you know, tap it, but we'll try to keep it in place for now. Okay, so I, I took the nut off the shaft and you know, the bearing, the tapered roller bearing, is pressed on the shaft, which holds it in place. So I made a mistake. Um, I ended up having to take this out of the case. Um, you may be able to leave it though. Um, I used a uh, seal puller and remember this is an aluminum case so I did mark up the surface so I decided to pull the shaft um, and take the bearing out in order to clean up that surface. Uh, so beware of that. Um, hopefully I don't get any leaks. You can see there's there's factory uh, oil passages um, there to, to lubricate the bearing. So hopefully I don't have any problems, but I, I don't think I will. Um, I cleaned it up though so it wouldn't, you know, uh, be proud and mess up the, the new seal as I put it in. Okay, I got it all back together. Um, something to note, sorry I didn't take video as I was uh, putting it together. The bearing goes in before this seal, so you can, you can kind of get ahead of yourself and put that in first. I almost did. Um, uh, you want to put some, you know, some transfer case fluid, recommend looking up with what uh, Volvo recommends. Um, in some models you may have to have this cap removed when you when you put the fluid in. Um, others have this uh, uh, fill plug. I guess the other one has a fill plug also but in a different spot. Um, has a vent here. 
Let me see what else I can tell you. This is the, the new collar. Make sure there's a another seal that goes in around like from from this side. So you'll put this the first seal in first and then you'll put the the shaft through the seal and then another seal goes over it. Um, that uh, that's just supposed to add I guess a little extra protection. Um, and then this is the new collar and it goes in. It's nice. The splines are nice and tight. There's like no no wiggle at all, which is great. I think this is the old one that was on the chewed up uh, shaft. Um, yeah, it, it wobbles a little bit. I didn't want to take a chance because it looked like um, part of the uh, part of the spline had been a little chewed up. So. Um, I guess uh, the next step for me is to uh, start reinstalling it into the car and and then driving it. So there's the new seals. There's one down there. Sorry, it's hard to operate the uh, camera with one hand and hold the camera with the other hand. You got two seals, an inner and an outer right there. One's on the, the inside of the, you can see it spin. One's on the inside of that, and then one's in the case, installed in the case. So, yep, that'll do it. All right, thank you.